Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today yet it won't be another review video but um, this would be something that I would want to try this is sort of like um, products products that will be coming out um, not from Bandai from the Bulex company or third party uh, which is like Tapa and Dragon Momoko and MC model I, I'm not sure if MC model is even active anymore and maybe some other resin stuff that will be coming out so yeah i will include um of course pictures and then thoughts about what um how i feel about it in terms of the images so yeah let me prepare some things then i'll come back to you guys so first off on the list of course um everyone would be interested to see so yeah the first thing i would talk about is of course dragon momoko so in the month of November and December they have been really busy um, so yeah I'll start off with of course the one that have been released which is the perfect great dragon momoko unicorn um, the reason why I still haven't um, got it because I actually missed the very first pre-order with my supplier so yeah that's why I got delayed so hopefully um, next month in the month of January I'll be able to get it then I'll of course definitely fix it as fast as possible so yeah, until then, um, all, all I can show you right now is of course the pictures only. So yeah, now let's start off first with of course uh, normal looks, just how it stands and everything. I've seen a couple of reviews um, on the YouTube channel, a Chinese YouTuber. I'll put the link down below if you guys want to check him out. He's, he always got the Dragon Momoko kits earlier because I think he's, I mean, of course I think he's from China. So yeah, um, everything. I think the Dragon Momoko is the the unicorn is slightly taller than the Bandai Perfect Great Unicorn. So if you like um slightly bigger size um Gunpla, then yeah, I, I think I would recommend this for you. So yeah, of course Dragon Momoko um very famous for their detailing of the Gunpla compared to Bandai. So of course that's the thing that everyone would want, and of course that includes me. And one more thing that um, comes with it, include in this uh, Dragon Momoko Unicorn Perfect Grid, is of course the stand as well. Um, as you guys can see here, the stand it actually looks quite good. Of course, same, almost the same as Bandai, where you can mount all its weapons. And this time around, they even give you sort of like a remote remote control for it. So I think that's kind of cool. And I, if I'm not mistaken, it has death like um four to five modes in it um where you where the gunpla will shine like sort of um, forever in a way but yeah and then there's ones like blinking every few minutes and then changing the lights so on and so forth so yeah when i get it i'll definitely show you guys all of it and then of course one more selling point is that the weapons that it comes with of course uh first you will see the Mega Bazooka and of course the Beam Saber and so on and so forth but what it comes with is the two big javelin I mean that you need to buy an expansion pack uh, don't say I'm, I'm saying in terms of Bandai and don't say in terms of Bandai Tapan also needs you to buy the expansion pack for it so and Dragon Momoko is charging um, okay uh, in my country Malaysia uh, the Tapan fighter for Unicorn is selling to around 250 for unicorn and you just get the most basic things you can get the bazooka the mega bazooka and then so on and so forth but in terms of this you get two i think you get two javelins and then next year you can see you can get the two shields and then with the two gatling gun and yeah i think that's kind of cool like for the price that they are charging almost the same price as the top and unicorn so yeah so of course that's of course 100% value for money so now here that's it um, in terms of unicorn once I get it I will definitely do a quick unboxing for you guys to see and of course next I'll be talking of course is the much anticipated the strike freedom metal build version by Dragon Momoko so yeah let me rearrange some stuff again then I'll get back to you guys so welcome back again after preparing some stuff so now we we'll quickly look into the Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom Metal Beer version. So here is the art box, and I mean this looks really awesome. They actually changed the box art. 
I mean, if you have previously bought the um, Strike Gundam, the um, Destiny Gundam, and the uh, what you call that, the Strike Nori Gundam, and Akasuki, you definitely notice that this is a different kind of it. Like this, re like the man business on it is really special. And so yeah, let's get on this. Uh, guess get out of this thing, and let's now take a look at the Strike Freedom itself. So I mean, this is of course based on pictures, but based on the looks of it, the amount of details that it has once it is completed along with the wings, it's it's really mind mind blowing. Like look at how amazing it is. So now we take a look at the other pictures now without the wings as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, looks great as well. I mean. Dragon Moku, of course, is always best with the details, so that's of course good to see. And then next, we'll take a look at the weapons. Of course, you come with the beam saber and then with the beam rifle as well. And then next, we take a look at the the two beam saber connected into one. I uh, know, I'm sorry. Yeah, beam saber connected into one, and then you have the beam rifle as well. Two beam rifle connected into one long beam rifle. So that's of course a um, very awesome. As always <clears throat> and then now we we'll take a look at the strike freedom in its extreme burst mode here and again it looks awesome and the price I got from my supplier is around 180 to 200 ringgit um, I think that's fairly priced compared to the metal build version where you need to buy and edit you when you buy the metal build strike freedom you need to buy an additional pack for it to have the extreme burst mode edition so yeah, I think that's a really good thing that Dragon Momoko includes here. So that's good to see. And then on, and then now here we take a look. Once the Strike Freedom has released the Dragoon system, as I call that, here you can see it's floating around on it. And then now we take a look at how how the stand will looks like when it's making the Dragoon system afloat away from the Strike Freedom wings. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's actually spiral around it. I'm not sure if you can move at, um, into like for example other poses so yeah it will be interesting to see once I get the hand of it and then next here you can see the strike freedom only the the extreme burst mode effect to put on the wings of it so yeah again looks really awesome rather I, I think this would be a solid plastic rather than sort of like a paper frame that we got it in the destiny the very first Destiny Metal Build by Jigo Momoko. So again, there's, they put in a really good effort in it and I really appreciate that. And then, guess what? Um, I've already pre-ordered it. So yeah, expect me to get it. And uh, my, supplier told me, um, my supplier told me that if you buy the, if you pre-order the first batch, you will get a Dragon Momoko stand um, for, of course, the Strike Freedom, which is white. And then here you guys can see uh, the stand black color for the Destiny um, version metal build by Dragon Momoko. So that's really awesome. That's why I quickly pre ordered it with my supplier. And thankfully, there's still slots. So yeah, expect me to get it. He said that maybe around next month or February latest. So yeah, hopefully I can get it um, before the Chinese New Year. So yeah, and then you can see here, right, um, that Dragon Momoko actually give you an expansion. Um, expansion on the very first Destiny that they released here of course uh, let me show you guys the stand and then next here you have the wing effect part the extreme burst mode wing effect part again it's totally of course different so yeah now you can of course uh, make a diorama if you want where the strike freedom will be fighting along with the Destiny in their both extreme burst mode so yeah Kira Yamato versus Shin Asuka so that's really good to see again and then yeah, then the final picture here is just to show you the details of it in the wings effect on the um this is I believe yeah this is the destiny wing effect part. So yeah, that's it for the news on Dragon Noko. Oh wait, there is actually one more. Um uh, I got this news like sort of um three days ago. Uh different version for the destiny. So yeah, let me rearrange my stuff again, then I'll get back to you guys to show a couple of pictures of it very soon. So welcome back. Um, yeah, this very last Dragon Momoko news, which is the Destiny Hind 
is it how you pronounce that? H H E I N E Destiny Hein. So yeah, um, here you can see the box art alongside with the Strike Freedom. Surprisingly, the Destiny Hein is uh, sort of bigger than the Strike Freedom. So I'm really, I'm right now. I'm really curious to find out how the Strike Freedom, the Dragon Ball Combat Review, will looks like. But yeah, nonetheless, um, we still continue to look at this very. Um, news on the Destiny Hang different color so on and so forth. So yeah, as you guys can see first here where it um holds the sword sword uh the what I call it sword impulse from the very first one. Uh, I don't know but yeah here's it building his sword and then next there you'll be holding the sword and of course the beam the beam buster rifle is that I I totally don't know the weapons you call I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, next here, you can see the Destiny here with its full wing effects out on the stand. Again, looks really awesome. But here, surprisingly, the wing effect actually looks um, larger. So I think you might actually come with the very first batch premium, the Destiny, the plastic version that I'm talking about, like the paper light, the paper light Destinies on this picture. And then next here, we take a look at the other picture here, which is... Um, sort of like a shorter one on here yeah the wing effect part definitely looks shorter but yeah not sure how it is and then now the final picture here we just take a look here when the destiny hang is floating here again it, it, i'm not sure how the this wing the effect part will take place but yeah nonetheless still looks awesome as always um this version of it the destiny hang i did not pre-order because I already have the normal destiny, but um, yeah, in the future I might actually pre uh, I might actually order it. Then by the time I order it, then yeah, I'll show you guys. So yep, that's it now for the destiny. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I miss some of my words. Blah blah blah. Um, the Dragon Ball news. Now we'll of course take a look at Tapa news to see if there's any interesting news to counter off Dragon Ball So yeah, of course. Um. To be now, we will take a look at the um, Tapa news. So, um, like I said, starting of course, um, when the Strike Freedom Dragon Ball Co announced, um, Tapa actually made their very first announcement about their release on the Strike Freedom Gundam version Metal Build as well. So yeah, now we just of course take a look of it. Now here is the of course the box art right in front of you. Looks awesome as well compared to. Um, of course, Tapa and um, usually direct copy from Bandai box art, but in terms of here, they actually make their own box art, so it's great to see them um, have doing their own box art as well. So yeah, rather than following directly copy from the Bandai Metal Build, the box art. So yeah, nonetheless, we start off now by looking at the kit here. As you guys can see, um, Tapa actually have looks quite good i mean in terms of the details as well as you guys can see the v fin there the red piece in front of it which is securing the v fins i think that piece is actually transparent transparent red color so that's another good thing to see other than that the gold color looks very shining and another thing that i think i like i mean shining gundam who doesn't like but yeah here in terms looks really good as well and then um I'm not sure you guys can see, however, the weaving, the go part, um, that's actually packed there. So you, when you cut off the weaving on the go part, that's actually, um, the, uh, what I'm trying to say is that the weaving go color part is not undergated. So yeah, that might actually be a bit problematic. But yeah, nonetheless, now another picture here. We we'll take a look at it without its um wings, of course, like. Moko here again looks awesome here the zoom out version and now the zoom in version here again yeah looks i mean looks great but of course build process so i'm not sure how is it and then now here facing at the back without its wings and stuff and then here you can see the i don't know what you call that ah shit i thought 30 for them but i would just call it the beam buster rifle on the waist on the waist section of the strike freedom now it's putting it at the back so what i think what they are trying to show you is the articulation of the weapons i mean the beam buster rifle 
So yeah, that's cool. And now here we take a look at the weapons. Now you can see here is the beam rifle. Um, what the Mandarin says that is that um, it's a sticker. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it is a sticker to put on the blue color part. So that's kind of sad because it would be better if it would be a separate blue color piece. But yeah, nonetheless, it's still tapad. So yeah. And then <clears throat> next here you can see with its beam saber. Um, now here you can see the beam saber looks awesome. However, the beam saber part that I sort of saw the preview package of it, it does not, the beam saber is just a normal beam saber. It does not have this effect. But yeah. Um, and then now of course we move on here. The strike freedom mounts on the stand with the full burst mode as well. Extreme burst mode or full burst mode. So yeah, again, it looks awesome as well. And yeah, I'm really happy to see that Tapa is going in to compete with Dragon Momoko. And now here we have the zoom in version when all the Dragon system have been released. As you guys can see, rather than Dragon Momoko version of it spiraling around the Strike Freedom, this is rather like a direct um, attacking on the enemy, if that makes sense. But yeah, again here. Another picture of it looks awesome from the front. So yeah, that's it. The Strike Freedom for the Met Virgin Meta Build by Tapan as well. Uh, I have pre-ordered this as well. But uh, one thing I'm afraid of is that in the preview package video in the Strike um, Fighter Tapan, it does not have the um, wing effect part. So. I'm really afraid that it won't come with that and if it really doesn't come with that then my heart will really crush because if Tapan is doing like what Bandai is doing then I'd like to have to buy a separate pack for the wing effect part then really I don't think that's worth it anymore then maybe next time I won't bother looking at it but yeah now here is just the strike freedom and then next I have two more news on Tapan as well so yeah, right, let me rearrange some stuff again, then I'll come back soon for the remaining news on Tapan. So now, um, there's one crossbone um, Gundam released by Tapan as well, but I'm not going to talk about that, I think because that have already been released. Uh, now, there's one that's that will be coming out next month, which is the Tapan Master Grade um, Mar Masarai. Is it Masarai? No, Marasai. The mobile suit Marasai. So now here, of course, the Voxart is of course the complete copy for from the Bandai version of it. And then here, the first picture here, we take a look at the inner frame of it. You can see it looks normal. I mean, yeah, all inner frames are supposed to look like that. And next here, we take a look at the articulation of it. As you can see, it can bend really good. But I doubt I doubt it will be able to be that good because you will have to send lots of it in order to do that. But however, even if you can have that much articulation, and next picture here you can see the fully um, Marasai when it's covered with all its armor. I doubt you you would want to post that. I mean, all the armor will be blocking it, make it more difficult. And then here, of course, the last part here with the weapons, the beams. I saw it's only come with beam saber and a beam rifle. And the beam rifle is sort of like a um, machine gun like that. So yeah, this one is just like a mini news, sort of like a complimentary news of it. So yeah, that's it for Tapa News. Next, we just look at the other remaining other brands or third party news for it. So yeah, again, let me prepare some stuff again and I'll get back to you guys real soon. So now here is sort of like a uh, remaining news that I got from the Facebook group that I'm in. So yeah, um, next here is the One Stroke 35 RX0 Unicorn Bus. This is from the Yihui company. Um, to be frank, I've never heard of this company so I'm not sure how good it is. But yeah, here in front of you is the box art. And then next year, once it's completed from the front, it looks like that. And then at the back like that. And the final picture here is just the size comparison. Um just just a quick one, just show you guys because I'm I'm if you guys are interested in hit bus and so on and so forth, then yeah you guys can get it. But um, I'm not interested because of the price of it. So yeah, next we'll of course take a look at the 
Harute. This is from the Hobby Star. So let me pause a while and get back to you guys. So yeah, now here the last news for this sort of like first episode of it. Um, here we have the Gundam Harute, the last Gundam piloted by Alleluia from Gundam Double O. This from the Double O movie. Um, I forgot what is it called where the where Sasuna will be piloting the shit. I totally forgot the mobile suit. Um, the Axia with the sword one. But yeah, it's it's the movie. Um, it's a fantastic movie. Everything is very very fast paced. So some people might like it. Some people might not. But yeah, I'm getting off topic. So here, of course, right in front of us, very first thing is the box art of it. Looks awesome. I mean. Lots of this China company are following the approach of Dragon Momoko. So, yeah, not to say good or bad, but it looks clean. So, I think that's what gets the job done. So, yeah, next here, you can see the completed product of it standing up right here. Looks good. I mean, everything, the coloring looks very well done. And then here in the Wave Rider mode, when you enter the trans arm version with the girl, the Alleluia girl, I've still forgotten the name. I'm very bad at remember names, especially character names. But yeah, nonetheless, now here the Wave Rider mode from the back. As you guys can see the the riser at the back. I forgot what it's called, the GN, GN drive. Yeah, the two GN drive right now at the back of the Harute. And then next I want to show you guys is the sort of like a manual for it here, the colored picture. You guys can pause if you guys want to read or something. And then next here, the picture here is the stickers. I'm not sure if this water decal or peel and stick the kind. But yeah, here, here the picture there is. And then next here, show the head. It says here it comes with two versions for it. So yeah, that's good to see. I think one in the transom mode, one in the normal mode. And then next here you can see the parts that it comes with. Looks awesome as well, many parts of it. And I've, I'm not mistaken, I remember I saw the preview for the package as well. Um, you will come with like, in the box art, you will come with like a few cylinders with it. So again, that's nice to see from Hobby Star. And then finally here, we can see the size comparison. This what did they call it, um, high grade, the Hobby Star high grade. And then compare with the Bandai high grade Harute. So yeah, as you guys can see the height difference and there's one more picture, I, I just couldn't find it. But I remember I saw it, um, it was compared to the Strike Freedom Bandai, Strike, no, the, not Strike Freedom, the Freedom Gundam version 2.0. Its height is slightly like half, no, like one and a half head taller than the, strike, the, than the Freedom Gundam version 2.0. So yeah, if you like tall mobile suit stuff, then yeah, I think this would be another one for you as well. So yeah, that's it. Um, and oh yeah, by the way, before I end, um, the Hobby Star is manufacturer for the, if I'm not mistaken, the Build Burning Gundam. There's one special coated version of it. If you guys don't know about that, you can check them out. Hobby Star, I think they've produced, they've produced quite a number of kits already. So I think if you guys want, you guys can give it a try if you guys are double O fans. So yeah, that's it uh, for this very first episode. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve this sort of like a podcast of it, do let me know down in the comment. And if you guys find this um, news entertaining, so on and so forth, um, yeah, drop a like down below. And of course, there will be more um, Gapla reviews, news like this, tips, so on and so forth coming out very soon. So yeah, if you are not subscribed to it, please do subscribe to it because of course there will be more coming soon. So yeah, again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon in another video of mine in the very near future.